Alright guys, we're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of the Miriam textbook, um, Dynamics, and we have a projectile that is launched from point A with an initial speed of 100 foot per second. We need to determine the minimum value of the launch angle alpha, which the projectile will land at point B. So we have two different mo motions, one in X and one in y direction our x motion we have this formula x is equal to initial position plus the initial velocity in x direction which we can find that pretty easy if we resolve this velocity into two components we have 100 cosine of alpha for our x motion and we can consider our x and y in here so our point a would be our origin and our y component would be 100 sine of alpha so our ending point would be point b since we are trying to land this projectile at point b and if we look at the x we'll see we have 360 feet is equal to our x zero would be zero since our origin is at point o so zero plus 100 cosine of alpha times t so we have two unknowns in here what we can do from this one is that we can find our t based on cosine of alpha so this is going to give us 360 divided by 100 cosine of alpha or we can divide 360 by 100 3.6 cosine of over cosine of alpha and for y motion we have y is equal to y0 plus the y component of our velocity minus one half of acceleration of gravity t squared so our y would be the y coordinates of the point b which as we can see we are going along negative y axis so minus 80 is equal to again the initial y is zero because it's our origin so zero plus 100 sine of alpha times t we're going to use the t that we found the previous step so 3.6 over cosine of alpha and minus one half of acceleration of gravity on earth since we have all the dimensions based on foot we're going to use our g 32.2 foot per square second so so now we have to play a little bit with this equation in order to sol solve it so we're going to have minus 80 is equal to 100 times 3.6 it's going to be 360 we're going to have sine over cosine which is going to be tangent of alpha minus one half of 32.2 times 3.6 squared over cosine of cosine squared of alpha so we're going to use one of our identity formulas where we have cosine squared of alpha is equal to one over one plus tangent squared of alpha and we can see that simply one over cosine squared of alpha is one plus tangent squared of alpha so we have that one over cosine of alpha so minus 80 is equal to All right, now we need to multiply this in each of these two. So minus 80 is equal to 360 tangent of alpha minus 32.2 times 3.6 square divided by 2. So it's going to be minus 208.66 208.66 tangent of alpha tangent squared of alpha so if we want to bring everything on the other side we're going to have 2866 tangent squared of alpha minus 360 tangent of alpha plus 208.66 minus 80 so 128.66 equals zero so here if we just call our tangent x we're gonna have x squared if we want to find x we simply have a quadratic 
equation. So we're just going to use the quadratic formula in order to find the answers. So 360 plus or minus square root of 360 squared minus 4 times a times c. divided by 2 times 208.66. So let's see what we get in here. Divided by 2 times 208.66. So our first answer would be 1, 2, one nine and if we just change one in here our negative answer would be 0 0.505 so we're going to get two answers and if we want to find our alpha we basically have tangent inverse of 1.219 and the other one would be tangent inverse of 0 0.505 so let's see what we get for each. So we're going to have tangent inverse of 1.219. That's going to be 50.64 degrees. And the second one would be, which is going to be 26.79. So obviously we have two alphas in here. And if we get back to the question, we see that the question is asking for the minimum value of the angle alpha and you might think that okay we have two different angles in here and 26.79 is the answer and we're good to go but that's not the whole story you still have to check one more point in order to make sure that the projectile is going to make it to the point a and one thing that we need to check is this edge in here and if we want to find the coordinates of that, we have 280 as our x and y obviously would be 0 because it's in the same level of our a. So we have to check that out before we make any conclusion about the minimum value. So one thing is gonna we're going to check is that there might be a scenario for our lower angle when this passes here. It's going to hit this point. It's going to hit this wall at somewhere in here, which... If we use this x, if we get a negative y, that shows that our projectile is not going to pass this point and it's going to hit the edge. And we don't know if this is the case for both of our answers. So let's check with each of them first. So let's check the first one first. So it makes sense to start with the lower angle. So so since we have the odds of lower angle angle hitting that edge is more than the, the higher angle. So let's just try that. So we have two formula for our x and y, same as what we started. So let's find the t first, and we're going to put that t in the second equation, and we're going to see what we get for our y. If that y is negative, which means that when the ball or the projectile reaches the 280 meter in x direction, the y has to be higher than this point in order to pass this point. So let's see. What we get, let's just find t first. So our t was basically x over 100 cosine of alpha. So our x is 280 and we have 100 over cosine of 26.79. Let's find our t. So we are checking the when our alpha is 26.79. We're going to have 280 divided by hundred cosine of twenty six point seventy nine our time would be three point fourteen and if you want to find our y we're gonna have formula hundred sine of twenty six point seventy nine times t which is three point fourteen minus one half of g and let's see what we get for y in here 32.2 divided by 2 times 
Yeah, so I made a mistake in the calculation. So 100 sine of times 3 point. And this is going to give us a negative number minus 17.2, which is less than 0. And since we have a negative number, that shows that our y is going to be on the negative side. So this is going to happen for the angle 26.79. So this one's out and we are left up with one more angle, which was 50.64 degrees. So we're going to do the same thing. We have to find the time first. And again, we have 2.8 divided by cosine of 50.64. Let's see what we find for the T. So this is going to be 4.42 seconds. And we're just going to put that in the second equation. What we had before 100 sine of 50.64 times 4.42 minus 32.2 over 2, 4.42 squared. So 100 sine of 50.64 times 4.42 minus 32.2 divided by 2 times 4.42 squared and this is going to give us 27.21 feet and that shows that when we throw this projectile by the angle of 50.7 degrees by the time that it's here it's going to be around 27.21 above this level so 27 above that and it's going to make it to point b and this would be the final answer for this question uh, my only issue with this question is that question is asking for the minimum value of alpha which I don't know why there is this minimum value in this question because if we change this angle that's going to change our x and y and we're not going to make it to point b if we play with this angle so not sure why there is a minimum value in this question if anybody has any thoughts on this feel free to drop it in the comment then everybody can benefit but other than that that's the final answer for this question hope everything was clear and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one